Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna get green. <laughs> so first of all, thank you so much for so many subscribers so far. You can always send us requests and we're trying to make uh, tutorials for that. But for now, let's stop talking so much and get right to our tree bark skin. I already got a plate right here and the next thing we're going to need is a cup of water and then we're also going to need something really important we're going to need our alginate to finally create our skin we're going to need latex then we're going to need a spatula and we're going to need a bowl where we can mix the alginate in okay now everything is pretty full so let's clean it up now we're going to need our most important we're going to need a tree bark so i went outside and looked at a few trees and picked up three different types of bark so now's the time to choose which one we're going to use. At the first one right here, it doesn't really have that much texture and doesn't really have that much detail. It's pretty flat, it's not bad, it's not good, but I wouldn't use this one. So, at the second one, it looks a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty flat too, but it has a little bit more depth than the, than the first one. But my actually favorite one is the third one right here, because it's a little bit curved and it looks kind of interesting and it has... Uh, a lot amount of detail and and if I lay it on my arm it actually fits there pretty well too so I think I'm gonna go with this one so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the bark and cover it in some alginate so take the mixing bowl take your spatula and then take the alginate and put in three spoons of alginate in your mixing cup then take a little measuring cup and fill this one with water then take the water and fill it into the mixing cup and start stirring really quick now after the alginate reached the right consistency start covering your bark with the alginate After you've fully covered the bark and alginate, you can let the table vibrate a little bit so you won't get any air bubbles. After you're done, just let it sit and let it dry. Okay, now the alginate is dry and we can start carefully peeling off the alginate from the bark. And there you go, you got a negative of the bark. So you see the little bit of dirt, just rinse it off under some water and we'll be right back. I cleaned it as good as I could. You can still see a little bit of dirt on there, but that's not a problem. But you can really see the nice detail that's on there. And that will give us a pretty good effect later on. So let's move on to the next step. Now we're gonna need our latex and a brush. And we had a great tip from Yasin Nalushi. He said, if we want to keep our brush clean after using it with latex, we should dip it into liquid soap first. This way we won't ruin our brush and we can easily clean it off with water later on. And I was surprised how good this actually worked. So thank you for this tip, you saved us a lot of brushes. Okay, now we're gonna take the latex and start covering the mold in it. And mine is dried out a little bit already, so that's the reason why I can scoop it out there so easily. And don't worry, I'm not using any kind of special latex, it's just a little bit dried out. Now after you covered everything in latex, make sure you clean out your brush first. Now take yourself a tissue and start peeling off a thin layer of it. And this layer you're gonna rip apart. What we're gonna do now is, we're gonna place this on our latex to create one layer of tissue. This will make our final product much more stable. After you're finished, cover it with another layer of latex. Okay, now you can repeat this process as often as you want to, but I for my part gonna stop right here and just gonna let it dry. I went in the bathroom and hair dried it real quick, so now I can really carefully peel my latex skin off the mold. And there you go. 
it actually looks pretty good you can see all the fine detail that's on the real bark is copied to our latex skin there's still a little bit dirt on the latex but don't worry it doesn't matter you're gonna paint it anyways but i'm pretty surprised and i think it looks pretty good i'm i'm kind of happy with it so and you can see if i laid it on my arm right here it actually fits pretty good so let's move on to the next step okay now we're gonna pre-paint it but i will recommend that you let your latex dry completely before painting it so we're gonna need acrylic colors brushes color palette and we're also gonna need latex the reason why we're gonna need latex is because if we're just gonna apply acrylic paint to our bark and then you will bend it, it will crackle. So we're gonna use latex and mix it with our colors and then it will make it more flexible and the colors will bend and stretch with our bark prosthetic. So let's get started and choose our colors we're gonna use. And I almost forgot our very important color white. We're gonna use a dark brown, black, a light brown, a red brown, a greenish color and white of course. So put the colors aside and we're gonna start by mixing a dark brown to fill in the deep areas right here. And don't forget to mix in a little bit of latex into your color so you won't get that problem I explained earlier. Right now, I've reached a point where it looks a little bit like Nutella, so I'm gonna take some black to give it even more depth. When you're done painting the deep areas, let it dry first before you start painting the highlights. For the highlights, we're gonna mix some light brown, some white, and some green to make the color look like on the real bark. And don't forget to add some latex. You can also use your finger to give everything a smoother look. You just have to experiment a little bit until you got the wanted result. Okay, I'm done painting now, and I'm pretty happy with it, but let's let it dry before we get to the final judgment. I went to the bathroom and used the hair dryer again, and I think it does look pretty realistic. I really like the colors and the way it turned out. And if you place it on, on your arm, the little fine details pop out pretty well. And uh, overall, yes, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have fun making your own. Send us some pictures of your own tree bark, and we'll see you next time. Tree Man out.